Are you sick of a boring black background in your CapCut projects? Change it to something like this, where the background shows through the picture. And some other fun options for your background canvas. Let me show you how. First, let's do this on an iPhone. Open up a new CapCut project and import a few pictures. You can see here that I have a black background by default. When you're optimizing a video for YouTube specifically, you always wanna choose the 16 by nine ratio, and this will make your video wide enough, but in this case, it makes the background black. Let's spice it up a little bit and change the background canvas color. From the bottom toolbar, choose canvas. There's three options here, color, background, or blur. I'm gonna choose color first. You can choose any color you want from the selections here to change your background. Or instead, you can go back and click background. This is gonna allow you to choose any of the backgrounds that CapCut gives you by choosing them here. There's a bunch to choose from. Or you could go to background and go all the way to the left and click on the image icon on the left. This is gonna allow you to choose any picture from your camera roll to import as your background, like I did here. I'm going to click the cancel button on the left to delete that and show you what my favorite option is. This is the blur effect. I'm gonna choose the second option, but you can choose whatever one you want for how blurry you want your effect to be. What this does is make a really cool blurry background that you can associate with each one of your clips by clicking apply to all, and then it'll change the picture background as your clips change. You could do this with videos or pictures. Finally, you can also mix and match all of these effects for your backgrounds for each clip. For this first one, I can choose a plain background color of red, go to the second clip and change a different background to orange. And then for the third one, I'm gonna change it to blue. Now you can see here, I'll do one more for purple. And you can also go back and forth between the blur and the color effects, giving you tons of customization options. And here's the final product. Okay, now I wanna show you how to do the same thing of adding a background using CapCut on your PC. So I have a picture open on my project right now and you can see that the background is black. I want to change the canvas here. So I'm gonna go under the video tab, click basic and scroll down until you find canvas and click on this button. That's gonna turn on your canvas and from here, you can choose what type of canvas you want, same as on mobile. So you can choose none, you can choose blur, which is one of my favorites. I'm gonna choose the second option here and you can see how it just blends the picture into the background and you can choose your level of blurring. The other option is color. You can choose any color. You can also choose from this color picker to choose any color you'd ever want. Or you can drop down and click style. Style is what CapCut gives you some fun backgrounds. And you would just click the download button to apply it to your project. And lastly, you can choose your own backgrounds by going to brand backgrounds. Now, if you don't see anything here, that's because you don't have any brand backgrounds uploaded to your kit, your brand kit. Uh, real quick, let me just show you how to do that. If you were to close out of your CapCut project and go back to the homepage, you'll see here, if you go to your spaces, you'll see a brand kit. Click on the brand kit. And this is where you can upload any of your backgrounds. Under backgrounds, you would just click upload any of your brand backgrounds here. And this will allow you to choose any backgrounds from within your project on the canvas piece. So going back to my project, if I were to click on my clip, go back to my basic tab, down to canvas and choose brand backgrounds, I can now see my two brand backgrounds that were in my brand kit that I just showed you. So I would just click on the download button and there it is. Now, no matter how many clips you have down here, 
that background will stay consistent. Or you could toggle back and forth and apply one background style to one image or video and another to the next. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe and like the video. See you soon.